I would like to talk about the very best secret of Brasserie Blanc. And the very best secret doesn't come in a small package. That's him. And this gentleman, okay, my beautiful Clive, we have worked together for 30 years. He was my first young commie. He was no bigger than that. And this man is in charge of all the Brasserie Blanc, okay, control of the food, training, all the costing, etc. Et he runs it, he holds the vision, he drives it. So I'm very, very grateful to him. Really, always. It's been a joy to work with him for so many years. But today, we are going to cook. Okay? We're going to cook because that's pancake day. And millions of people will take their sauce pan, their frying pan, and we want to use the very best recipe to make the best pancakes. So you have fun and learn to reconnect food with your family. But hopefully, you'll come at Brassi Blanc because we do some pretty good pancake. Clive, shall we do? We'll do it, man. Okay. It's, it's a traditional batter. Mm -hmm. We've got the milk, we've got the flour. I'm going to put some sugar and some, mm -hmm. a little yeah. pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. we're going to give it that special flavours. Okay. It's going to have a little bit of brown butter in there for the flavour. And we're also going to put some freshly grated orange okay. zest and lemon zest. Can we work at the same time? We can work at the same time. Of course. You're too much executive <laughs> flour. Okay, voila. Okay, here's the flour. Très bien. So put it all together. Chef. Zest of orange. Please. How much? Two teaspoons, 20 grams. One, two. Voilà. Okay. Très bien. Exact. Hein? <laughs> and that is exactly 12 and a half grams, Clive. <laughs> no less, no more. Okay. A bit of lemon Always. as well. well oh, look at that. It's so simple. It took us exactly 20 seconds. And now, what I'm going to do is to do the hazelnut butter. Hazelnut, what's happening here is amazing. Okay, first, let's cook it. And we are going to melt this butter, not only melt it, we're going to bring it to the stage of hazelnuts. This one's a solid particle of the butter, which brown nicely, which gives a lovely color and that forming, that smell in that kitchen is amazing. The noisette butter will give first flavor to your butter and also it will prevent to stick to the pan. So it's a good secret, a good secret. And understanding what you do, that's what we do always at Love. Teach his kids. Teach. Teach. We Te have one Swiss here. We have one Swiss here. Uh, so she, okay, we worked together how long? 12 years? 10. Yeah, 10, 12, yeah, 10, 9. 10, 12? Yeah. 12, okay. <laughs> and he holds the secrets as well. He becomes a teacher. That's the way it works. And training, of course, is everything. Everything. Passing on your knowledge all the time. That's his little one, okay, here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, we, Papa. We want, we yes, can, Papa. No bigger than that. <laughs> I see you didn't call me grandpa. <laughs> Thank you, Claire. You've been very generous this morning. Okay, so I'm forming my butter here, but it's not ready now. I want it to be hazelnut, slightly brown, but not burned because it's undigestible, carcinogenic. Okay, so that's forming, that's the forming stage, and then the butter will cook. And you know it's cooking when it stops forming. That's coming now. Voila. No problem. Voilà. Très bien. Just Merci whisk okay. the butter in. Taste, 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 taste. taste. Good for you, Clive. Should maybe clap if you the ladle. I've got the spoon. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. Lovely nutty flavor. Low sugar as well. There's very little sugar. How much did you put in, Clive? Two teaspoons. Okay. So now we're going to cook the pancakes. A little bit of oil. Of course you can do it with a non-stick pan. Okay, but in our restaurant, to make better pancakes, we use you know, a cast iron. Voila. There's the right temperature. So important for the pancake. Too high, you burn it. And too low, it goes like leather, white and beige, like English food 70 years ago. Okay, so we don't want that. We want really a lovely pancake. You're it's so fun. detrimental to our English cuisine. <laughs> I love. <laughs> Clive, how many of you have trained? Hundreds, hundreds of craftsmen. So, of course, I love you completely. I'm just how many, teasing how you a bit. How many Frenchmen do you have in your kitchen, Raymond? Less and less, I must say, <laughs> which is brilliant, okay? So make sure you don't put too much. So you see, that temperature, you can hear the sizzling here. Voila. Of course, you can flip them up, but actually we don't teach our chefs to do that, okay? It's just as easy, because our pancakes are so light, they fly away, okay, Claude? <laughs> Two? Respect okay. the thing. Right? Yeah. So then by cooling racks for your pancake, nicely cool off. And never stack them up upon each other, because they stick. So, of course, these pancakes, after, you can fill them with anything you wish. With that recipe, you can do thousands of recipes. 
okay? Thousands of ideas, okay? With these lemongrass, chocolate, jams, honey, and we'll show you later. We're making a caramel. You can see that it goes very, very quickly from just an absolute translucent, clear liquid to be going golden, and it'll start to get darker and darker. And you know what, Clive? It takes 30 seconds, or even sometimes 10, to go from lovely dark brown, gorgeous, amber caramel into burnt. You, you, put, you put the butter in now. Yeah. That'll help okay. to stop the no, that, that, sugar yeah. from caramelizing continuously. Yeah. Then, with the jus d'orange, then you've got your basic flavor, round and gorgeous, and absolutely beautiful. Of course, it's very still at the moment, and Claire, we're going to just slightly bind it with a bit of our root, Claire, and then yep. just a little, okay. little bit of coating. It yeah. smells wonderful. Yeah. The aroma of the orange is yeah. coming through. Lovely, Claire. Marvelous. Mm. Beautiful like crepe suzette. Stunning. So, Claire is finishing his crepe suzette, he's creating the garnish, beautiful segment of orange, then full season. It's perfect because Brassi Blanc is all about seasonality, all the time. We change our menu four times a year. So either on a plate like that, or into uh, segments together. Lovely, beautiful. <laughs> oh, lovely, Clive. It looks absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. So obviously, thousands of ways to create this pancake, as simple or as complicated as you want to. And actually, honey is fantastic. Really a beautiful acacia or manuka honey. And you just shred it. Very easy, like that, all over your plate. Then take a bit of honey, comb, and just little pieces. Ooh, lovely. Little bees, things that work. Absolutely stunning. Very simple. Just drop them wherever. And you've got a stunning little pancake. Of course, lemon juice. Okay, nice lemon juice. It's a lovely pancake. That's my favorite, actually. So just pancake, lemon juice, a few zest that you can mix with a bit of sugar. And of course, the ultimate and only one pancake that most people love, chocolate. Look at that. So you can put it in right in the middle of your plate. Oh, look at that. And no guilt, just enjoyment, pure enjoyment. Then we have a lovely pancake here that I'm going to fold nicely. Place right at the top here. A few almonds. Hi Clive, shall we? Shall we it start looks to very enjoy? nice. Okay, simple, home, home that cooking. That one looks very rich. <laughs> Prefer this one. Are you not talking about <laughs> guilt? <laughs> Food is about joy, it's about celebration, it's about friends, it's about fun, it's about no guilt. Happy, happy pancake, pancake day. day. Well.